Welcome to this new Excel tutorial. We will see today how to realize a dynamic map. First of all, map is a new kind of chart available in Excel 2016, as you can see here. In this case, this map is dynamic. This means that the values will change utilizing this slicer. For example, if you want to highlight only North America, we click on it and the dynamic chart is automatically updated. We can also select, for example, South and Central America, and we will see highlighted only that countries. Or, for example, we can click on Middle East and highlight all the countries in the Middle East. In order to realize the dynamic map, let's start with the data. We have three columns, a column A, for the country, a column B for the region of that country, and a column C which indicates the oil production of that country. First of all, we can format this data as a table. We have to click on Insert, Table, and Excel automatically detect the data range. We have to click on OK, and as you can see, we have now the data formatted as table. The table is a very powerful tool. For example, we can filter data. We want to highlight only European country. There are five entries for European countries. Or we can, for example, have Europe and Russia and Central Asia. And that countries are added to the table. In order to remove the filters, we click on clear filter from region and we can see all the data. Now we want to pass this information to the map chart, but as we have already seen, we want to create a dynamic map, which means that, for example, we want to see only African countries, which are 10 countries, or, for example, European countries, which are five. Therefore, we have to create a dynamic list, a list which a different number of data depending on the region selection. In order to do so, we will utilize the offset function. The offset function allows to create a, a list with a dynamic number of elements. The syntax of the offset function is that first of all we have to fix a reference. Then we will give, uh, as required, the number of rows and columns that we have to uh, shift from the reference cell. Then, this is the more important parameter in our case, the height of uh, this list, which will be uh, dynamic, while the width will be fixed to 1. In order to have a value for the height varying case by case, we will utilize the count a function. This function will count all the rows of the table and then this value will be passed to the offset function, creating the desired list of values to be shown in the map chart. Let's do it. We have to define names. To define them, we go to formula, name manager, here we can see, already defined, the table which is reported in this sheet. We want to add two new names. First of all, the country. The list of countries will be realized utilizing the offset function. We can start from the header country, for we will move one on the row, zero on the column. The number of elements will be realized with the count a function. This function will count all the elements in the column a less one because we don't want to count the other country. While the width of this list will be one. We can copy this definition and we will define a new name for the data, the oil production which we can call as oil. We can pass here the formula. We have only to change the reference, which will be cell C1. We can click on OK. 
Now we have defined two names, country and oil for the data to visualize for each country. We can click on close. We can insert our map chart. This function is available only starting from the 2016 Excel version. We can click on maps. Right click, select data. The series name is oil map. The name defined for these values is oil. In order to avoid the calculation problem, it's better to insert also the file name. Therefore, we have map.xlsx exclamation mark oil. We can copy it. And for the axis label, we will insert the other defined name, which is not oil, but country. And we click on OK. We have obtained our map chart. We can insert as chart title oil map. We can choose a different style from here, for example this one. We can have different colors, a double click on the map, series color. We can choose, for example, from yellow to red. We can resize our map chart. We can click on the chart in order to set the properties move but don't size with cells. And now we have to insert the dynamic filter. In order to do so, we can click on the table and insert slicer. We want a region slicer. We can click on OK. Europe is selected. We can clear all the filters and you can see the bull map is populated and we can start, for example, to add data labels, which is the values reported in column C, the oil production for each country. Let's select, for example, North America. The dynamic map chart is automatically updated. The dynamic charts are a very powerful solution for your work and also to impress your boss. If you have any question, don't hesitate and leave a comment or contact me on the YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to my channel and see you soon with the next tutorial.